A performance report on slip forming curb and gutter without string line. Stringless paving with the Gomeco GT3600. A 50 acre parking lot for a new casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Some 14,000 feet of curb and gutter on the project. And not just curb and gutter, but tough parking lot designs, including multiple islands with radii ranging from four and a half feet to 18 inches. The contractor was Fred Weber and they were getting it done with stringless paving. We visited with Kevin Ackley of Leica Geosystems. Well, I think it's obvious that we can do it. Um, we're pulling some pretty tight radiuses out here and uh, you know, mobility around the job site is, is, is an outstanding factor. I mean, these guys can go from an area, if they have a grade problem, they can move right over to another and islands, the straits. I mean, the versatility is just what everybody really has been raving about here, especially on this job site. We also visited about the islands with Billy Graves, the foreman for Fred Weber. Uh, we're doing chops of eight. We probably could get nine of them uh, for getting in. It's a big advantage you know, the production of, you know, the islands and everything. Uh, the straightaways, they're doing real fine. Um, the straight shots, it's running about 18 foot to a minute. It'll slip. Um, it does a great job on it. Uh, like I said, no string. <laughs> That's the key of no string. We asked Kevin what it would take from Leica for curb and gutter. Well, the way we have it now, we have a, a monitor on the screen, um, you know, half a dozen cables that plug into the Gomeco as a plug and play system. And um, then it takes a, a digital model that's uploaded into the system. And then um, on site here, we have um, external total station and uh, for height control and GPS for orientation. And um, once that's all on the machine and the system is up, or the fi digital files uploaded, then we can uh, trace those lines out on the ground here. We asked Kevin what the problems were of the past with stringless paving and how did they correct them? The, the main problem when we started, uh, we had some waves and uh, that type of thing and and what we found there was a kit we calibrated a line to the uh, actual mold of the machine and now what we do is we calibrate to the frame of the machine and run our sensor emulation as far as moving the sensors forward and back for radiuses and that um, as a, a parallel offset to this frame line steering so that um, any any deviation from the straightness of the mold to the frame of the machine, which would cause a wave in our steering, we corrected with this new calibration. And, um, and you know, as far as the sensors emulation, where we move our sensors forward and back to sort of simulate what Gomeco does with their string line sensors, um, that has helped tremendously in keeping our elevation nice and level. and. Um, and helping us out through the radius is keeping the slope and the elevation right. The controller provides an illustration to pick the island that you are on and the one you want to go to. It's merely a, a, a process of picking a different line. There's a map, a physical map on our software. He goes in there and um, with a few button presses, he's able to select the line that he wants to pave um, either with a touch screen or, or toggling with the, the buttons and uh, he can just pick the line that he's next to. A actual physical representation of the machine is showed on the graphic and um, so he can see the one he's actually right next to and he just chooses that line. Um, like I said, it's just a digital touch screen. He can either tap it to pick the line or he can toggle with the buttons. We asked Billy Graves if they were afraid if they were scared of the stringless system? Well, at first we was, we was kind of wondering 
how's it going to know where you're starting, where you're going to stop? That's the main thing. And we got used to it, uh, how the program works. That's really great. It's just hard not to have that physical pin or string line there. Right. Well, you, you're going back to the point, you got a string line up, you got to put some string line up ahead of you while you're going. And for tripping over it, uh, this machine and the stringless, you can go out there anywhere on any piece of it's ready. You can put it up and pour it and move to a different location without string line. So do you have any guests uh, like in this, this radius here? How many pins you'd have to set up or something like oh. that? Oh. Just to get around that uh, long tank radius? If we could do it. Then you gotta pick it if up. we could do it with the string. I don't think you, I don't think you could do it. In the cost of your pen, and, and then would you hand form it? If you weren't doing oh, it? we would hand form it. It'd probably take. We probably could do two a day. On the time you get your grade set and and pour it, we're probably figuring two a day on that. What is the trick to pouring a tank radius? Uh, I would say is. It's going to be with the machine and the mix design. I think there's more to the mix design and the slump is pulling it off. You'll have more trouble with. And what, what is your mix design and slump here? Uh, this is running at a two inch slump. This is a, a county mix. Uh, it's like a six, uh, six back mix, I think. And it's got the finished sand in it. We're running with finished sand in this. That's helped us out a lot. Okay, any uh, disadvantages that you can see to Leica? No, not offhand. Um, the bugs are getting worked out of a bus, you know. At the first day, yeah, it's it was something new to get used to, and after you get used to it, after the first day, it's it's like a piece of cake going on. Slip forming stringless curb and gutter. A performance report on the Gomeco GT3600. Gomeco, the worldwide leader in curb and gutter stringless technology.